morning, everyone. I am Davide Leone from uh, CLAC Palermo. And she is Valeria Megna that will help me uh, for these three days. Um, not only this. Um, well, uh, I have uh, two very brief presentation about um, about the what uh, what we do here in Palermo. And uh, there are about uh, the several projects we develop in, uh, with CLAC uh, about urban regeneration and a particular branch of, uh, of CLAC that is uh, UGAME uh, that works with urban games. Uh, these, okay. I hope you are seeing what, Yeah, right. Do you see Clark resilient as much as we can? Yes? Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, Clark in, is an organization that works uh, in, the, um, in the cultural field in Palermo from more or less 15 years. And uh, we made a lot of uh, projects um, with the aim of regenerating spaces. And we have an approach basically um, made with the, the, the co-responsibility of spaces with people. So uh, these are the three uh, first projects I will talk about. The first one is Mare Memoria Viva, that is um, a urban uh, museum about the uh, the, the coastline of Palermo and uh, uh, and, uh, and and what happens uh, in the confrontation between the coastline and the people that uh, live and work in Palermo. Uh, the second one is Crazy Food Kid is about uh, um, heritage in uh, in Palermo, and the other one is Le Terre Che and is about an earthquake. Uh, in the neighborhood of Palermo. Maria Memoria Viva started as an outreach process to engage audience about the relationship between the coastline and, uh, and the city of Palermo. Uh, we made uh, more than 100 interviews to collect the memories of the sea. And uh, what, what is interesting is that uh, what we work on, it was the, uh, the, the, recreation of, uh, um, of a link between the Palermo inhabitants and uh, the ORC. Uh, and now this is a physical museum that we manage here in Palermo uh, and uh, with a lot of installation that uh, continue to tell the story of the, of the uh, of, of the um, coastline of Palermo. The second one is the Crazy Food Kit uh, that focuses its attention on uh, handicraft sector in the historic center of Palermo. Uh, we produced a lot of maps about uh, traditional and new craftsmen and then up to where uh, you can uh, when where uh, all the craftsmen are geolocalized uh, and uh, they tell their story to people. We use it once again outreach methodologies because it's clear that uh, what is really important is to, to achieve people um, to uh, interact with other people. It's really, really important. This is in a situation like uh, the city of Palermo because um, it, it's hard to commit people in this kind of activities. Uh, the other one is Lettera de Ketemarono, is one of, of the first project uh, and it was about the Belice earthquake. Um, this is uh, this was an experimental uh, protocols to collect stories and how to tell them. So what 
our expertise it, it was built uh, around the storytelling of an uh, of a place and uh, so uh, this is one of, of our um, point from another side we uh, made spaces we made physical spaces also connected to the this kind of storytelling uh, we think that the city is a, a right a public space and a meeting space uh, we think that uh, there are mediation of conflict and inclusion we think that the city are a space for uh, social cultural and political action and experimentation and uh, we want to take care uh, of spaces. And uh, we made uh, Crazy Plus, that, uh, that is a community hub uh, in which we made um, the workshop that uh, the same, more or less the same workshop that uh, you are going to, uh, to, to have them. And, uh, Re Federico co-working that was one of the first co-working area in Palermo in the Eco Museum Mare Memoria Viva that is uh, a, a museum, a community museum about the Sea of Palermo. We made also uh, uh, several uh, meetings about social innovation and not only uh, Nuove Pratiche Fest uh, with uh, several uh, edition, but what is more uh, more important is the uh, our uh, confrontation that uh, it happens um, from from five, five years ago with games. We develop some digital game, narrative uh, digital game about Palermo, that is the Greek Palermo. Uh, and then we made some uh, urban games. And it's really interesting because our point of view is to use games to uh, make people uh, something different than usual. Something different than usual inside the city framework. And uh, so, uh, what, what we made, it was uh, an innovative startup that is called Ugame that develops these kind of things. Now I'm, I'm going to, me to show you something about it. Okay. That is this one, yes. Okay. Uh, and so on. These are uh, some samples about uh, Ugame uh, production. Uh, Ugame is a cultural enterprise that uses uh, urban games to promote cultural heritage. And um, gaming is uh, an extremely powerful instrument for us to discover tangible and in intangible aspects of heritage. Uh, we want to promote and discovery the tangible and intangible cultural heritage, heritage through the instrument of gaming. We made more or less uh, 30 urban games, um, making people interact with the squares, making people interact with streets, making people interact with people and museums. This is really important because is the, is, it could be considered as the first phase, the first phase of um, uh, placemaking uh, protocol. Because the first thing that have to happen inside the placemaking protocol is to change the attitude about a place. And uh, this is really, really interesting because through urban games, you can, you can understand something that before that kind of game, uh, there wasn't in the public space. Uh, we uh, made, for instance, a game inside the Crazy uh, Food Kid project 
uh, that it was uh, artigianularis cost uh, artigianularis cost in which you have to discover uh, craftsmanship in the city center of palermo it was uh, an integration between uh, what we discovered and the story uh, the craftsmen tell us with a game framework. The other one, uh, we made other games connected with young people. This is a format that we started to, uh, to develop that is connected with high, um, high school um, guys inside the city. Uh, we uh, made urban game that uh, set in a city, in a specific areas of the city, and uh, it is two or three days long. Uh, during this game, people design and uh, build uh, something a lot of time um, and make something, and they act a small change inside the, um, the city. Uh, and uh, well, it's a team game in which uh, guys uh, uh, compete one to each other. Um, what is interesting is then during, during these games, uh, it happens a continuous interaction between physical and virtual. I mean that all, uh, we, we made a lot of things that are physical, uh, that are confrontation between uh, um, the, the, the city places, but on the background, there are a lot of technologies that allow people to uh, live these these places as uh, to live this place as a game. Uh, now, if you want, I don't know if it's better than uh, that that the video will start uh, using uh, the video I share or it's better uh, than, uh, I don't know if you can see here, you can see something. No, okay, well, I have to share. Okay, this one, okay, share. I hope you see, do you see? Okay. Uh, enough, uh, but uh, 
Um, I don't know how. Oh, shit. Okay, maybe is enough. Excuse me. Maybe uh, is enough. What um, what I have to see is that uh, our point of view is uh, uh, slightly different from the IAC, also because we are not a university, uh, but uh, um, is another way to use games inside the public spaces. And it's another uh, point to attack the, uh, the, the system of placemaking. Uh, we, mm, we, we are not so much committed in uh, gathering data, for instance, but we are uh, much committed to push people to um, change their habits, to change their habits in a framework game. Because one of the main characteristics, and we will talk about it uh, uh, later. One of the main characteristics of game is to is to put the player in another kind of framework in which uh, the the rules that uh, that there are are different from the um, from from the normal life, and this is really really important because it, it could be the first point in a, in a placemaking uh, uh, process. Um, I don't know if there is uh, any question. I am here, but uh, I think in in one hour uh, we will have another communication with me about the ingredients of game. Uh, so if you want, you can collect some uh, other question uh, uh, after. <laughs>